hello guys what the heck is up and welcome back to my channel for another freaking video you can tell by the title what exactly this video is going to be about it's going to be about my 35 pound weight loss in five months as well as my semaglutide journey how i got the medicine my experience things like that you're either probably clicking this video because you are also on um some sort of medication like semaglutide ozempic wagovi monjoro etc or you're interested in starting it, or you just are very sweet and watch my videos regardless of what they're about. Nonetheless, welcome. I actually am taking my injection today. I am filming this on Sunday. I don't know if I'm uploading this Sunday. Nonetheless, my injection days are Sunday, and you're either, like I said, you know what I'm talking about when I say my injection days are Sunday, or you're like, Britt, what do you mean injection days? So, this is semaglutide. I already took it out of the bottle and you'll see mine is pink because semaglutide is like a generic version of these medications. Um, it's compounded and sometimes, I feel like actually a lot of the time from my own research and people I know who take it, they do have B12 in them which is why it's this pink color. But I was like just going out to take it today and I was like, you know what? I have wanted to talk about this for so long. If you don't know, I document this entire journey over on TikTok but for some reason I and like have been nervous to do a long form video about it. I feel like TikTok, I've gotten nothing but positive support and I really appreciate that. But I do know some people can get upset with the insulin type things because I know that there are people that need it for non-weight loss related things. From my understanding, semaglutide is not used as frequently with diabetics. I could be wrong. That is just what I've been told. If that is incorrect, please be nice in the comments. Don't destroy me. But that is one of the reasons that I selected to use semaglutide. Also, it is much more affordable. If you have never looked into using a weight loss medication like this, if you don't know what it is, it's an insulin, as I just mentioned. FDA approved it for weight loss recently, and it has completely changed my life. I do have some comments on it because I know some people are like, well, what happens when you stop taking the medication? Da -da 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 -da. We'll talk about it. Because semaglutide is generic, it is so much more affordable. I just actually changed my provider over to Minute MD. The one I used previously was local to me, like 30 minutes away, but nonetheless, it was a telehealth appointment. One of the reasons I switched over to Minute MD is not only is it like super affordable, they also reached out to me, which is crazy. I have no requirements to talk about them on YouTube. That is not why I'm doing this. That is all for TikTok. But I did switch over to them. I like that the price is more affordable and something I really like that they do that my present day provider did not was they make sure that they you do a blood test. And I feel like that's so important, especially with these virtual visits. So if you're looking into doing some semaglutide, any of these things, I would recommend getting a blood test. I just feel like it's important to know what the medicine is doing inside of you. I mean, it could be making you feel good and making you lose weight, help with your PCOS, help with all of these things that you may have, but I also feel like it's important to be monitoring like what it's doing inside you as well. So that is something that I really appreciate and I'm glad I was able to get blood work done. Some providers like MinuteMD, they will cover your labs, which is also super appreciated, but Talk to your provider about that if you have a local one. If you're interested in finding one, use Minute MD. I'm not here to promote anything. I'm just really here to like talk about my experience. I started my semaglutide shots the very last week of January, like January 28th, 27th, 29th, something like that. So basically February. And when you you do your appointment, you meet with your provider, you talk about your issues, your struggles, why you want to be on the medicine, all of that stuff. They send it to the pharmacy, it gets sent to you, you get your bottle, you get this. Something I asked for was the anti-nausea medication because sometimes you can get really, really sick from these medicines when your body's adjusting, like nauseous, stomach aches, headaches. Luckily, my side effects, actually more recently, like five months in, have been worse than they ever were up until this point. But I did ask for that to begin with. I didn't touch it until a few weeks ago, which is random, but I think it's like an extra $15, which is worth it in my opinion because you get a lot of them. So worth it if it's gonna make you feel better. I asked for the anti-nausea medicine. They sent that over as well. They give you like the sterilization tabs for when you do your shot and you can pick if you wanna inject into your stomach, your arm, or your thigh. I typically do my thumb, my stomach, my stomach. Sometimes I do my thigh. I've never done my arm for no reason outside of I just haven't. 
and you do your injection once a week and I just chose Sundays because I feel like Sundays are chill I don't typically do too much on Monday outside of work so if it does make me feel sick it's not like I have too much pressure and you might be like, okay, Britt, you're just rambling, which I am. I did not think before I turned on this camera. I just, I just turned her on. Let's think. The what basically what some glutide has done for me personally, I can't speak on anybody else's experience, but for me, like there's some people that I when I started like watching videos, which is why I made my own because I feel like everybody's are experience is so different some people like take this medicine and they get so sick and they can't eat and that is not the case for me what i've noticed with this medicine is i also at this point i guess trigger warning if you struggle with like eating disorders anything food related i will be talking about that right now so either skip forward or just exit out so just wanted to put that out there but i personally struggle a lot with binge eating that is like my weakness i usually can do pretty good but like when i have something in my head if there's like an emotional even i, I can't even explain it but i just struggle a lot with that and so what some glutide has done for me personally is not only help suppress my appetite it's helped so much with cravings it's helped me cut down my coffee from three cups a day to one that was affecting my anxiety and also I just feel like it's not good to be relying on like three cups of coffee a day for no reason like I'm not even tired but I just always needed it I also have not had a single binge since I started the medication and this is like the longest I've gone without binging in like probably seven eight years something crazy and the craziest part is I don't even think about it unless I'm like documenting it for a video like it has healed that at least when i'm on the medicine of course i i'm not off of it so i don't know if it's helped heal that outside of the medicine but a lot of people will say that it like it stops food noises and if you know what i'm talking about then you know what i'm talking about but you just don't have food noises sometimes i still do have cravings but like for example i love pizza it is my favorite food and it is something that like if I'm alone with a box of pizza, it's probably like my biggest binging food. And it allows me to just like eat a slice or two slices and just like stop. I have no desire to emotionally order pizza or overeat the pizza or anything. And I just like have so many more conscious thoughts of like eating. And so for me, when I was talking about like, oh, what happens when you stop the medicine? The purpose of the medication and something my providers always ask me when I like connect with them for a refill is like are you creating healthy habits essentially because this medicine is supposed to be used as like a tool it's not gonna just automatically i mean kind of in the beginning it's just gonna naturally help you lose a little bit of weight but this medicine is used for like a, a tool to help heal and create better habits if you don't have them so for me i feel like i i've not been sick enough where like i haven't wanted to eat i'm eating and I'm eating and I, I'm tracking my food just because for me that works. I'm talking a lot. I hope this is all. Yeah, I hope you guys are following this. But for me, I'm just trying to create healthier habits. So my snacks are healthier. My meals are healthier. I'm going out with my friends and enjoying a dinner. But maybe I'm, I'm eating the correct portion or I'm making a better decision at the restaurant. But I'm still allowing myself to enjoy. So for me, I feel like I'm still eating enough that without the medicine, it wouldn't be a crazy change. And I also feel very confident that... I have started making better decisions and I have a better routine in my health. Again, not waking up and chugging coffee for an hour of my morning before I put anything else into my system. Also, eating healthier things, bringing my food to work, thinking, I don't know. Does that make sense? It's just, it's helped me so much in that aspect. Food noises is the best, the best, biggest, biggest thing that this has helped me with is just, I don't have them. That is it for me for kind of like what it's done for me it's eliminated food noises which i feel like has helped me develop healthier food relationships which has made me just feel so much more confident like just i'm proud of myself that i'm making these decisions because for me i just which i think that if you followed me long enough you know that i always will be like i'm trying to eat healthier i'm doing all of this stuff and like i wanted to but i just for some reason i i just couldn't my cat is in the litter box i apologize but for some reason i just i cut it and it was so frustrating so this medicine is just like helped me with that and made me so proud of myself for be, being able to like i just need everyone to know i stopped speaking while my cat was doing her thing in the litter box because it was making so much noise and it's been like two minutes and she's still just in there throwing litter around she's still going it's 
but another minute. So let's talk side effects. As I mentioned, up until recently, I have not had terrible side effects, which I'm so, so grateful for. I am taking 0.6 of the 2.5 milliliter bottle of semaglutide or 0.3 of the 5 milliliter bottle, depending on what bottle I get. The one costs more than the other, but nonetheless, um, a little bit over the halfway point, and it would make sense that now it's starting to affect me a little bit more because I'm taking more of the medicine on a more consistent basis, like once a week, higher dosage, my body. And when I mean side effects, I just mean like I get nauseous a couple times a week and it, my tummy hurts. But for me, I feel like, oh my god, that's, that's normal. But when I first started the medicine, the first week I felt no side effects. I did end up on week two, my skin reacted to it a little bit. It just got like red, which is really weird because I've never had anything like that. I did consult with my doctor on all of that. I've, like I said, I've had MDs with me this whole way. And then that subsided, which is really weird because it was red and itchy for a week and then never again. Um, the third week, I feel like I have I had a headache, and then I just didn't have any side effects for four months, and now they're starting to come again, but I do feel, oh, I know one, I burp a lot. I know that's weird, I hate that word, but that has been like my main side effect, and I did Google it, and I think it affects like 9% of people, which isn't a ton, and it's just like more of like an embarrassing, inconvenient side effect than anything super serious or anything like that. So, that side effects, I feel like, yeah, I've lost 35 pounds, which is amazing. I am so proud of myself. I feel like I have such a long journey ahead of me that I don't give myself enough credit because again, this medicine is a tool, but like you are still the one like waking up every day and you have the help to make the better decisions, but you still have to make them. So the fact that I've been able to make them consistently for five months makes me super proud of myself. And I'm really excited to be able to like document this journey with you guys a little bit i like i said i've been sharing a ton of it on tiktok i've uploaded i think like one short but i feel like i've kept a lot of this off of youtube but it is a really big part of my life right now it's just like taking control of my life and my health again and i feel like when i'm feeling good and i'm losing weight and just like feeling better about myself naturally then i feel better about the things around me i can do things i'm more passionate about like without feeling insecure like fashion and stuff is something i love but I struggle with because of my own personal, you know, this is vulnerable. This is vulnerable, very vulnerable. But yeah, so I think that's kind of it for like my first introduction to semaglutide. I feel like it's long overdue because it's been five months. Um, if you guys have any questions, I, I did not have like a plan when I started talking about this. It just came out like word vomit. So I might edit this and be like, oh, Britt, you should have talked about this. Or nonetheless, if you have any questions, if you have anything to say, just be nice, be nice. If you are interested in following my journey more consistently check out my tiktok because i do upload about some glutide like one to two times a week if it's something that you have questions on i could always do a q a long form if you need anything any questions that i might be able to answer again i'm not a medical professional i just have been on this medicine i feel like for a really long time at this point i also have a lot of family and friends on it as well with that being said i think hopefully fingers crossed when i watch this back i'm like good job brit you hit all the nails on the head i will see you guys soon for another video i know this was kind of random but yeah i love you good bye